last one. So far, so good here on Safer Perez. Good fundamentals, nice technique. He's obviously very fit and willing to be aggressive. But he's getting caught out here by the trademark serve of Marlon, the pendulum. Identical service, toss. Look at that, it goes long and deep into the backhand. Marlon is the master of handcuffing an opponent. When you play him, the line just seems so thin as to what is acting too prematurely and what is acting too late. Second point of the board for Perez. Yeah, it must be something to make your competitive debut in this sort of atmosphere. He just flicked both of Marlon's serves and Marlon wasn't able to make a third ball. Impressive so far here. Wondering is that how he hasn't played a competitive match, but yet his rankings 400 odd. Yeah, I It'd be mean, nice I... to look into it. I mean, personally, I've never watched Perez play, and I would like to learn a bit more about him. Well, I can tell you that uh, he played last played in the Pan American Championships. So, I mean, he's played those at that level. He's right? played Continental, but never Continental. on the WTT or yeah, previously ITTF stage. Correct. Yeah, all the matches I'm looking at are things like the Pan American Championships, the Central American and Caribbean Games, right. the Caribbean Championships. Yeah. Listen, you've done well already to take four points off my long, haven't you? Yeah. Each point can feel like a war. I'm not sure he's actually had a winner yet. Who's this? Perez actually has had a one. Yeah, he's, he's had, a, he's had, he's had, two. had a winner. two. Two, there he's had go. two on the yeah. flick, yeah. Five game points for Marlon. Well, that is done and dusted for Marlon. Good start for the Dictator, who wins that first game 11-5. Guess it defines what you class as a winner. A winner could be a subtle serve, a winner could be a tight touch. Yep. Anything clever, anything subtle. Here are the seeds, and uh, China are top of the table, as you'd expect. Germany, Korea Republic, and France are next. Look at what Japan are now, fifth in this tournament, in this event, rather. Yeah. And shout out to Iran, who beat Japan 3-0 at the Asian Games. I mean, that was insane. Also, shout out to the man capable of the biggest upset last season, who is also from Iran, Afshin Nuruzi. Wouldn't be surprised if many of you hadn't have heard of him, but he beat Haramoto at the Asian Championships last season. Could say Mukherjee capable of the biggest upset this year yeah. so far. True. 
but she's top 200 in the world. So it's actually very high ranked. Shows how good Shao is. One but half. yeah. My long fans there. They want to see their man in action here and win well, win spectacularly. Look at that push. How aggressive he uses that. And then a guide flick as well. He's very relaxed here, Marlong, isn't he? Yeah. I remember uh, last year at the uh, Singapore Smash. There you go. 80% points won and serve. There's another one to add to that tally. Um, yeah, he talked about how much happier he is now sort of in the twilight of his career. And he, he plays with a lot more joy. One I guess that five. comes with, after winning a multitude of titles, you can sort of take it a little easier. And he's, he's not got the pressure on him that he used to have. Well, you'd say that, but why is he still here? He wouldn't, yeah. you know. That's a fair point as well. He's, he's, he's a father, six. right? Like, yeah. he's a father now and... He wants to spend more no, time. 100%. The fact he's won so many titles is... I mean, you've got to sit back and enjoy them, right? Even though he is still playing, but he's, he's saying pretty he's... pretty much won everything there is to win. Yeah. Exactly. But he said he's entering the final phase of his career. Yeah. He wouldn't even bother entering that if he wasn't Let intending on dominating yeah. it. Yeah. Seven, one. True. And he's 35 years of age. Which he's the joint oldest to ever represent China with Wang Lichin. I was going to say, very few Chinese players get this far. 13 of the last 60 make it, 14 of the last 17 have gone his way. Well, you give him that leeway when you are the greatest player of all time. And still playing like that. Yeah, it, it, it's hard to walk away when you're still number three in the world, isn't it? Well, why would you? Why would you? Uh, yeah, at the point. end of the day, look at it from the coach's perspective, they still need Marlon. You're, con you're convinced of that I'm right convinced. now. I'm right. convinced. Even with the likes of Liao Jing Kun on the, on the waiting in the wings and, and Liu Gao Yan. They still need Ma Long. Memorable time for him. Here we go. Uh, eight game points. Talk about that in the next game as he uh, wins the second one very comfortably as well. And uh, Perez looks a little. Uh, Demoralised here, understandably so. Ma Long has uh, won that even more convincingly. 11-2, he is two up here. Fourth point there by Adrian Perez. First time I've taken the lead in this match. Like the serve on that one, but Marlon deals with it pretty well. Oh wow! Look at the how movement. How the movement of Marlong is so dynamic. He's not just reacting, 
He's getting into a position after the shot that's going to make the next ball even better. All stems from the footwork. Marlon's had injury with the right knee. Oh, ha, ha. You can see with the transition, he's managed to put that to bed with really effective recovery. Oh, nicely done. Perez. Got a bit of fortune, but credit to him for the winner. Just and a glance it past my along there with a little shoulder shimmy as well. I can now say he's hit a winner past the dragon. Yeah. Minor gains, right? So you know what? This year being the Olympics, it's also the year of the dragon. So it would be really nice symmetry for him to get one last go at the Olympics. Could this it is be exactly his right. Year? I mean, <laughs> could the stars align? Literally, I mean, I would love to see him in that draw. And the the clout really, really matters at the Olympics when there's only two. Having done yeah. it before, you don't want to be against him knowing he's done it before. And he's the only one that you can say has done it before out of all of them that are playing. Well, that's. This is the amazing thing that we've got the most informed player in the world in Wang Chuqin, the world number one and the only Olympic champion that China have got right now. So how do you pick between the three of them? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's an amazing, it's an amazing dile selection dilemma. They've, they've had this problem so many times. Right. But to this extent, do you think? They've had it, I mean, not to this extent with a two-time Olympic champion, but... Right. They've had this ex this level of difficulty before. Yeah, someone is going to get disappointed. You could argue, well, Wong chuchi has got a few more Olympics in him. Do you let Marlon go in there? So he wouldn't have oh, other things to say about that. Just with ease, the way he plays that. And that's six match and tie points now for Ma Long in China. One saved by Adrian Perez. It's all over, Marlon. 